Hello, beautiful. Thank you for being here. You look stunning. Ugh, never been done before. Perfectly new, unimaginable. And we're here together to watch some hair videos together forever. You and I. And if you didn't already know, Cherry Cola hair is very much a thing right now. This look is popularized by Miss Dua Lipa, Miss Dula Peep herself, and she looks quite magnificent in it. Uh, one of my favorite eras. We're gonna see if people can do it as good as Dula Peepa did. It's called Cherry Cola because it's like Coca Cola, the cherry version, right? Yes, Brad. Why am I even asking that? question. I haven't had Coca-Cola since I was a child. Not a big soda person. I'm gonna be honest with you. Nobody cares. <laughs> Let's watch some Cherry Cola hair color videos. We back at it again. I got a bean. You got a bean. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then hello and welcome. We're starting off with some very black hair, which shouldn't be a problem. It should make things a lot easier, but when things are easier to be done, it ends up being harder for people. They overthink it and then do something that's completely wrong and somehow just fuck it all up. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but something tells me it will. Today, I thought to go to red. I'm looking for this kind of look. <laughs> Cherry cola. It's a 6.66. It's a, a vivid garnet. It looks really red on camera, actually. Okay. <laughs> We're using some box dye today. Does she need that? I don't feel like she does since her hair is dark and we're just trying to go red. She could honestly do a damn permanent color. Now, it does get a little tricky. I would need to actually feel her hair in real life because sometimes hair like hers, when it is so black and so healthy, I think it's healthy, it is not porous at all. So it's hard to get color that is not permanent to stick onto hair that is not porous. Basically, she does kind of need to rough up that cuticle with some something that is going to lift and deposit and that tends to help color stay. But it can also go the other direction and the color could fade faster because you do that. It's just tricky. There's no one way where you can make the color perfectly stick. She could also remove this color, make it red on top of that. That would probably make it stick a lot better than what she's about to do, but we'll see. It's not as red as, you know, you think. This is what it's gonna turn out like, I think. Or maybe like that, I don't know. Okay, we are mixing the box dye together. Also, do we clock that that is the biggest box dye I have ever seen? Have you seen a bigger box dye kit? Was I imagining things? Oh, no, it is massive. I hope that comes with like two color thingies in it because she has a lot of hair and I don't know how they expect you guys to color your hair with a tiny little tube of color That is not enough for anybody unless you're doing just a retouching your roots Which I think that these are made for that I feel like they're less so for like all over color and they're more for root colors. That's actually a lie No, I don't know what the hell they're for I don't know who created them But apparently they were genius because everybody buys them But I still don't really get the like concept of the box dye and I've seen a lot of them It looks really bad. I'm kind of like scared of how it may turn out we have two of them. Okay, six. This is like a bundle box die. I love a bundle. Everybody loves a bundle. Come on. Right? Is that, is that, that, is that weird? Everybody loves a bundle. Now, if you're gonna do two box dye kits, don't mix both at once because the moment the color is exposed to the air, it starts to whatever the, 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 the chemistry term is. It starts to oxidize. <laughs> things. So you're gonna want to mix one, use it, and then mix the other and use it. Don't do both at once. Every time I go to dye my hair, I always have the urge to just do it with my bare hands, even though obviously that's not the greatest idea. It's actually fine to do it with your hand. Oh, so, oh, never mind. I thought she said I would rather not do it with the bottle. I'd rather do it with my hands. I don't know what I was thinking. No, I think that's what she meant. It's annoying because all I hear is... <laughs> I'm gonna drench my hair in this. I think I was on the right page. She was saying how she likes to do it, not with the bottle, but on her hands, not her bare hands. She puts gloves on, I think. That is totally fine. If you're gonna cover your whole head with a color, you might as well just use your hands. If you're doing it at home and you obviously don't really care if it's perfect, just squeeze it on your hands and put it through your hair. However, a good way of doing this, well, sorry, there's a lot of things. I'm gonna circle back. Give me one second. It's like liquid cotton candy. We're applying to the entire hair strand from Ruth Sands first, which is like fine. I can't really tell what's going on with her hair. It might be her natural color. I don't know. I didn't listen slash she didn't tell me. One or the other. She probably will get hot roots, meaning like her roots are gonna turn out much more red than the ends because the heat from her scalp is going to process the hair lighter and then deposit a shade over that lighter tone due to the heat from her scalp and then the mids and ends are not going to have that heat. So they're not going to lighten and more 
<laughs> than the roots. And then it's gonna deposit the tone on top. And then things are not gonna be even and it's not gonna be that cute. Do you know what I mean? It's good that I've got like a mirror here though. You see what I'm doing? I'm dyeing my leg. What is going on? Mmm, ketchup. The thing that I do like that's going on right now is she is starting from thy bottom and working thy way up the head. And it's keeping everything very clean and organized and concise and great. She is eating the house down boots. And the only way that you can slay the house down boots is liking the video, commenting, subscribing, and being beautiful. You already got one. So how many other points do you have? Catch them all where you can. Holy <laughs> sh! Oh no 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 no! Wait a minute! How did she get that all over her neck? Why do people do this? Oh yeah, because she was coloring her hair and she laid it back on her neck, which I guess is inevitable. But you just gotta like color it and then like fold it over each other in the back so it kind of just lays down the middle of your neck and like put the collar of your shirt up. There's ways around this. Also, I don't know how everybody ends up getting the color off, like the stains off of themselves, but they do. Um, this looks. Like a crime scene, and I hope you can get this fixed. Wow, it looks pretty red. That is literally like really red. Oh! <laughs> a lot happened. I'm intrigued, and I want to see the rest right now. It's dried at the top a bit. I'm just gonna leave it to dry for the rest of the night. It looks really dark, obviously, because like my hair is wet. I didn't actually do anything to my hair. I haven't really styled it, because obviously I've just been at work, but this is just what it looks like. It's very red on the top part of my head. My baby has like fire red. It's like burnt. It's like sometimes I hate when I'm right and sometimes I love it today kind of hate it Did she get hot roots? Yes. Did her ends slightly turn a different color, but not really? Yes Her hair on the mids and ends did not really take the color It maybe has a tint of red over top of the hair, but then the roots. Oh the roots should we get into it? Yes, she has hot roots. They are very 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 hot steamy and warm and red as fuck. And that is what happens when you apply to the roots at the same time as the mids and ends. And nobody likes them, nobody wants them, and people always are like, why is my hair really, really, really different color at the top? That's because that's the heat me scalp, love. It's like burgundy. It is literally what I wanted, so cute or whatever. In some hints, it does still look brown or like just not as red as I thought. I'm just gonna probably Leave it there. Really cute. Love it. We didn't quite get cherry cola, now did we? We did something, but it just wasn't everything that I was thinking. Fuck! I just wanted that for her today. And I didn't get it. And when I don't get what I want, I get really mad. Do better next time. That was dramatic. <laughs> Okay. We're doing cherry cola hair today. I was gonna do it at the salon, but my hair guy is currently at the country and I'm very impulsive. I can't wait. Mm -mm. I'm so sorry for your hair guy because he is going to have a mess on his hands when he comes back from his holiday. No! I mean, I get the impulsive thing. Text him or something. I don't know. Ask him what to do. Ha! Huh. We're gonna do something today that's regrettable and I know it. I worry for your hair at this point. You have balayage going on. You have lightened ends. This this is gonna be tricky to do it correctly because the way that the top of your hair gets treated is gonna be very different from the bottom of your hair. And if you don't do it that way, it's gonna be all sorts of weird. And I don't want you to put permanent color on the ends, but something tells me you're going to and it's gonna be a whole show. I'm gonna go to Sally's, pick up a few things, done a lot of research. Did I hear Sally? Yeah, I did. You know what you could use for your hair at Sally Beauty is x Mondo Color. You can mix super red and super purple together to make a cherry cola color, and it would be so pretty. And then after to style your hair, you can also get x Mondo Hair Care. You're welcome, so shop it at Sally. I was debating whether to do like box dye, because there's a L'Oreal one that I used to use in the past that the color came out really good. But lately when I've been dyeing my hair using Sally stuff, it comes out really good too. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna be a little hairstylist at home and just go to Sally's, but I'm gonna have my mom do it. Okay, we're not using box dye, and we're going to Sally Beauty my favorite place ever. Hell yeah, baby. Mm, 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 mm. I judged you too quick and I'm sorry about that, okay? Can we still be friends? Are we still good? We're still cool? No, okay, you hate me. All right, well, 
that's okay. This is my inspo picture. I think it looks absolutely amazing on her. I love it so much. Very pretty. Love the inspo. This is what I was gonna get. I was so sad. I knew which developer. I knew everything. And I was like, okay, let me just ask the workers here. They told me completely different things. And then they started showing me way too many things. It was just so overwhelming. Too many options. And I was like, I can't do this. This is too much. So... Backup. This is my backup. Okay. Well, <laughs> she ended up going with a box tie anyways. How did she get here, you ask me? She uh, did explain how she got a little bit overwhelmed and couldn't decide what color to get. So apparently the box dye was easier to make her mind over. That's the story. Doesn't truly make sense to me, but it does to her and that's all that matters. All right, well, we're doing the typical mix two box dyes together to make one. I don't think that's recommended by them. I think you should pick one if you're gonna use box dye and go with it. Maybe don't mix two together, just to be sure. We're just gonna go with this. So I didn't wanna do just this color cause I kinda wanted that blend, so red velvet, and cherry crush i feel like that's gonna give me that color that i'm looking for this is the other thing i love the idea of like i'm gonna customize my own color but unfortunately it depends what is currently on your hair i'm not laughing at this girl directly because you are like everybody else and that is totally fine not everybody's a hairstylist and i get it not everybody's gonna know everything about everything let me just explain though you can't just pick a color put it on your head and get that color coloring hair is a craft it is an an art and to do it well takes an expert who has many years of knowledge in that field if you want a very very good color done and that is why hairstylists exist but when you just pick a color and you put on your head it depends on the porosity of your hair it depends on the starting color of your hair it depends if your hair was previously colored all these things completely change the end result of your hair if you maybe put this color over a level six natural brown that has no existing color and is relatively healthy. This is a level six, by the way. If you put it over hair like that, you're probably gonna get exactly what's on that box. Otherwise, it's gonna be different across the board. It doesn't matter if you mix these two boxes together. The color is not gonna look like either of them. I know this formula is really good. It honestly does not damage my hair. It does so well in my hair. I never feel like it messes it up. Unfortunately, all color that is permanent does damage your hair. If I'm being the bearer of bad news, like it's impossible to not damage your hair. We're mixing them up and we're ready to go. The reason we're not doing it with a brush, it's just easier for my mom to work with it liquid wise because that's what she's used to. No, guys, don't start with the root, especially when you're doing red. Oh my God, you're gonna end up with bright, bright red roots. It's gonna be so bad. <laughs> no, get me out of this box. Ah! Not only does the heat from the scalp make it process brighter and lighter, but also you guys, it takes you the longest time to color the roots. So the color is gonna be sitting on there longer than the rest of your hair. It's also very important to get color on as fast as possible. In the salon, when I was training, we would time ourselves. And I think I would get maybe 15 to 20 minutes to apply to the entire head and that's it. It looks really pretty though. It does kind of look like cherries. It's gonna turn out good. The fumes are getting to my head. All right, so here's the other thing. I know you're trying to get it out of her face when you color, but if you push all the hair back, it's gonna be all clumped on top of itself and you're not going to be able to evenly distribute the color onto every single hair strand. So do not push it back like that. And it's especially important to color the hair where it's going to be parted normally because you obviously want that part to be as perfectly applied as possible because that is what everybody's gonna see first. So make sure you do that next time. And if you work in really, really small sections, you can usually use a, a comb to make sure everything is fully saturated. It was actually coming out really nice. Like look how red it looks, but the color just looks so nice and rich. And you always wanna make sure you brush it so you can even out your hair and the color. Okay, I mean, we are brushing. That's good. That's really, it's good. But we are brushing kind of everything on top of itself, which we need to brush strand by strand. So just take pieces out from here, pull it down, brush, brush. Another piece, brush, 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 brush. You get the point. This way, we're just covering the surface and not even 
really. But I, the thing I do like is it's her hair is saturated. She has a ton of color on that hair, which I love, love, love to see. Great job with that. But the rest, not so good. All right, we're covering with a bag, which might help the hot root situation because if you keep all the heat in the hair and the heat is kind of touching everything, it can also affect the mids and ends of the hair by also heating up the mids and ends. So you might get a little bit more of an even color this way. The roots are still gonna be hot. I'm so excited to see what it's gonna look like. I'll show y'all whenever I have it dry and then I'm gonna wait till tomorrow so I could go in the sun so y'all could see what it is. But I'm so excited. I took like a glimpse in the mirror while it was wet and it actually looked really nice. I feel like it's just not gonna be right. Her ends are gonna be pink because they're porous and they're blonde. You can't just put dark red over it. You have to fill the hair. That's a whole nother topic for another day if you don't already know. If you don't follow every video that I talk about, she would have needed to do that to get a really even result. And I don't think she did. So she's probably gonna have pink ends and maybe like tinted red mids and then really red roots. So, aha, yay! But I. <gasps> Where did you come from? Why are you all popping up on me lately? And where is the rest of your body? You didn't think it was cute. Oh, well, I mean, I will say you do look gorgeous. Um, you wanna come over here? You can, come on. You can be on camera with me. Don't be shy. She wanted to say hi today, guys. Do you mind if I put my hand here? Thank you. Um, thank you for being here. What was it that you wanted? Why did you wanna come on camera though? I thought you were with your other friends. And where's the brunette girl? What's her name? Angelique? Angelique, where is Angelique? Again, remind me of your name. Brittany, right, Brittany. Brittany, where is Angelique? She escaped last night. Okay. <laughs> um, after this, we're gonna have to talk about where uh, Angelique went because that is uh, worrisome that she escaped. You're not gonna be escaping anytime soon, right? No? Okay, <laughs> good. Cause you look great and I would like to use your hair again. We all got off on the wrong note, okay, previously. I know we've done videos together where I've, I've done a lot of things to your friend's hair that it wasn't exactly optimal. But I, I promise going forward, we're only gonna do pretty things to all of your hair and you don't have to worry anymore. I know you like your look. We're gonna I keep it like this for a little bit. Not forever, but for a little bit. But what? That's why Angelique ran away, because she didn't want her hair f Got it, yeah. Um, well tell her that I'm not going to mess up her hair. I'm not gonna try any crazy things on her. No crazy cuts, no crazy hair tools, no crazy bleach. We're not gonna do it, okay? She can come back home. You're gonna go look for her? Okay, thank you. All right, well, I will let you go. Thank you, Brittany, for being here and uh, telling everybody what's going on. Um, and we'll, hopefully you'll find Angelique next time and maybe we can um, show everybody an update next time so nobody's worried about you, okay? Hopefully I'll see you next time. You're gonna have to get offset though. Okay, <laughs> now is a good time. Yeah, okay, well, I... Oh, right, you don't have any legs. Let, let me, let me help you. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, there you go. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, this is what it looks like while it's wet. You can definitely see the color. So far it's looking black, but we'll get closer I'm sure in a second. This is directly after I need to like scrub my hair better the next time, but it is so pretty. It's not the color that I really wanted. Of course it's not. <laughs> Sorry, I know you wanted that color, but it was never gonna happen. It's still beautiful. On camera, I'm like looking right now, it looks a little bit more red on camera. Camera, but in person is definitely more on the violet side, but it's still so gorgeous Let me go outside in the light because I haven't even seen it outside yet. It's so pretty Isn't it pretty? What do y'all think? It's cute Exactly what I thought was gonna happen happened, but a little bit of a better situation than what I thought I thought the ends would be much lighter pink. They turned out bright red. I actually like the way it came out She has that very dark red color on her roots and then that more pinkish red on the bottom Which I actually think looks really nice, but I'm worried that this is gonna wash out really quickly because her hair is so porous at the ends from the previously highlighted hair she had. Pretty decent end result for how it was applied to the head and what she used to apply the color and what color she used to do the color. I'm actually quite happy for her. Next time, please wait for your hairstylist. Please, 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 because it can come out even better. This is a kind of a tricky situation to do yourself. I'm not like living, but I think it gave me cherry cola for sure. We kind of did it. We are going to be dying or attempting to dye my very dark hair, the red or burnt burgundy color, but without using any bleach. Oh, so we have a situation where her hair is very, 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 very
very thick and very, 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 very dark. If I made you yawn by yawning, let me know. It's contagious. My hair is very thick and very dark, like I said before a second ago. So it's gonna be a lot of work to color this hair. It's gonna be a lot of freaking damage. It's going to be a lot of work and take up a lot of color. And our hair is probably gonna have hot roots. Oh, it's a hot root day, baby. <laughs> It's hot outside right now and it's a hot root day. So for developer, I got the Ion Sensitive Scalp Color Brilliance 30 volume. If her hair is not previously colored, which I don't think it is, I think this is her natural color. I think a 30 volume is definitely good for her. If she wants that bright Coca-Cola red, then she is gonna wanna do it. And it needs a lot of lifting power if she doesn't wanna use any bleach. So 30 volume or even 40 volume would be great for her to really get a high lift and a lot of color deposit. The higher you go up on developers, 10, 20, 30, 40 volume, and then there's also dying permanent below 10 volume, but we're not going to ignore that for today. The higher you go up on that scale, the more levels of lift you get on the hair. And every permanent color lifts and then deposits color. The lifting takes out the natural color from your hair and the depositing puts it, those fake molecules, into your hair so that your hair appears as a different color. It's actually really, really, really cool. For my actual color, I'm gonna be mixing the L'Oreal High Color Highlights for dark hair only, the red shade, and then also the magenta shade. That's an interesting combo. I don't know what level they are, but it's red and magenta, which makes like a cola color. Uh, sick, I guess. It might be kind of good. I don't know a lot about everything, but I know that might be fine. The tutorial didn't really say like how Long to wait to do the root part, but definitely to start at the bottom. Oh, ooh, somebody's doing the mids and ends first today, and then the roots. Ooh, I'm interested now. You got me on this one. You're pulling me in. You're pulling me in. Hopefully this turns out well. I really don't want hot roots. I don't either. My face is looking kind of burny today, though. I will say that. My hot, my face is looking hot. Confirmed the color is red. Hurry up! It starts processing the moment you put it on your head, so you gotta hurry the hell up. I think I'm gonna wait like 10 minutes to see what this does, and then I guess I'll put it up into my hairline, like the roots, and then wait another 20. Don't do that. You can't see the color unless you wash it off and dry it. So there's no point of doing that. That is not a test strand. If you wanna do a test strand, you have to wait the proper amount of time, like 35 to 45 minutes, rinse it off, blow dry it, and then look at it. This is not gonna do anything. I kinda lost track of time, but it's definitely been 10 minutes, I think. We're gonna do the roots. And this is what it's looking like. Oh, we are doing a test strand. Oh. For the color remover, I used Color Fix from Sally's Beauty, and I only used step one and two, because that's what the lady told me to do it, Sally's. The color remover? Where did the color remover come from? I thought we were just doing the color over the head. Are you not telling me everything? What is going on? Don't make me raise my voice. Cause now I'm confused. That's a great idea though, if you have color in your hair, because again, if you have color in your hair, this is gonna be hard to make it stick to your hair. So removing that black color pigment before you then go in with the red is a great option. I did do the color remover. As you can see, it turned it orange. So that works. The roots are still very red. Okay, the test strand came out bright. And of course there is hot roots. I'm glad she did a test strand. However, it doesn't seem like she really took any findings from that test strand and are going to apply it to the rest of her head. This is pretty bright, but hopefully since my hair is so dark, it won't be this bright. But if it is, it's not the end of the world, right? I'm just going to send it. So now after we did the color remover, we're about to apply the red color on top. Oh boy, I can't wait to see. She looks very hesitant to apply that color. Girl, if you don't want to do it, don't do it. Nobody's making you do it, I promise. I mean, nobody's there behind the camera, right? Making you do this. We're going to come get you. Are you okay? And again, I'm going to leave the roots until the end. I'm literally not even looking in a mirror right now. The thing with leaving the roots to the end, guys, if you pull a large section of the hair and you start applying to the mids and roots, you are not going to get the same amount of roots left out on that entire section. That's just not how that works. So you have to apply in small sections, small horizontal sections. 
So to apply the dye, I started with the underneath section, not the part that I did a test strand on. And then I went over the test strand, and as you could see, this dye didn't necessarily smell bad, but it like stung. So then I moved on to the top section, and again, I was avoiding the roots this entire time, just because I don't want the roots to turn out super bright, and then the rest of my hair super dark. That is way too much root to avoid. Not two inches, just one inch max. That's all we want to do. Or else you might get hot roots with the middle section dark and then the ends lighter. And it's going to be like a weird sandwich of colors and it's not going to look right. This application process kind of took a while and it was very messy as you can see. I would highly suggest if you do this to cover every inch of your bathroom. Okay, so here's the other thing. Sorry, I'm telling you a lot today. If you apply from the bottom up on the mids and ends, you have to apply from the bottom up to the roots. The same pattern you did it because the moment you apply that color it starts processing so the hair down here has already been processing for a longer amount of time than the hair up here so do not go right on your part and start coloring the roots that's a huge no-no because then that part will be on your head for the longest amount of time which is gonna cause hot roots start at the bottom holy sh sorry i was so busy talking about hot roots that i just ignored the fact that she colored her entire face and her entire arms <laughs> body. Whoa, girl! Just the hair next time is fine. I was gonna keep this on for like two minutes, but my head is burning and I don't want my roots to go insane. <laughs> Holy sh**. It's everywhere. How did you do that? I just got out of the shower and from what I can see so far... From what I can see so far, there's hot roots. <laughs> Are you ready for the reveal? I am, I can see the roots. I'm excited, but we know how the roots went before, so let's see. Well, that's definitely red. I'm not mad at it. I'm actually, like, I like it. That's cute. I am worried that it's not even. I'm worried too. There she is. Okay, here's my hair. The final product of dyeing it red from black without pre-bleaching it. Okay, is it even? Absolutely the fuck not. That's okay. No, it's not. She got hot roots, slight hot roots for sure, but her roots are red and her ends are dark brown red. More of that cherry cola color on the bottom. Not optimal, that is for sure. <laughs> and that's what happens when we don't apply it to the bottom first and then work our way up and all, you know, you. I told you all the things you did wrong and that's okay. We're not all professionals, but like, goddamn, next time. And when she lifted it up like that, you can really tell it goes from bright red to black to black with a tint of red let, let's say let's 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 give her that i would say i'm, I'm not obsessed mm -mm, not at all hi i'm currently editing this footage it's a couple days later and looking back at it i'm realizing how poorly my foundation matches why is it green what do we think i do like it do i love it not sure yet. I just don't know if it's the color for you, and I think it might be your foundation. I'm gonna give her the benefit of the doubt and say it's the foundation. Maybe, but also the color. It's just something about really, really bright cherry red. Yeah, I don't know. Something's weird. Mm, sorry. Oh. Well, that was a roller coaster, and some of those were a little scary. Anyways, if you'd like to check out my hair color that is semi-permanent and way less risky and actually makes your hair better post-coloring, check it out. It'll be all linked below and also available at Sally Beauty. And also, make sure to check out my favorite hair care product of mine, Super Gloss Ultra Frizz Defense Spray for the shiniest, glossiest, frizz-freest hair you could ever imagine for longer than ever before. And that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!